Good morning. Let's walk through the expansion, um, the plans that I've put together, and you guys tell me uh, what your thoughts are. Um, could have changes to how I'm doing the dust control. Um, maybe have a room specific for processing. Uh, so let's walk through that. Here is the main door entrance, garage door entrance, human entrance over there. Uh, that human entrance is going to walk into the office now. So what will happen, you'll see some wood here on the floor just to show where the walls are tentatively going to go. Uh, so a wall this way, we'll talk about in a moment. But here's a wall that's going to go into just the other side of the garage door rails and then come through and this will be the new end of the office. It'll go over to the window uh, in the summertime. I need a window AC unit. Uh, so that's how that, that's my solution for getting air conditioning into the office. It makes the office bigger than it needs to be. Um, if I could put the wall here, that would get me more space um, for processing um, and for raising, which would be ideal. Uh, but I need air conditioning. Um, so it's kind of my thought there. I could get a portable unit and just vent it outside. Uh, so curious what you guys think there. Uh, this is not a huge footprint. Uh, what I would do with this extra space in the office is probably just create more storage um, for things that need to be stored. Uh, that existing wall, so this side wall right now of the office, this room here is currently the office. Uh, we'll go in there in just a moment. Um, but this wall will come out because I want that, I want that space. Uh, I can't justify going all the way to that wall. I would rather take the time to do the construction get that wall out so that I have space here. But again, open for debate, basically. Uh, so that's this wall we've talked about. This wall here is going to run all the way over to that, right? So the garage door needs to be able to open and close. So the, the side wall of the office is going to be probably halfway here, um, connect into that and come out. Uh, I don't need a big office. Um, I don't receive a lot of people here. I don't need to have business meetings. Um, that all happens via uh, Zoom, Google Meet, etc. cetera. Uh, what I need the office for is a place to uh, have the computer, um, have labels be able to, to be printed, um, and just general storage. I don't need anything else. Uh, okay, now this wall. So these boards you see on the floor, those are going to uh, tie into that two by four there and basically have the wall come straight out towards me. And this is gonna be the new end wall of the insect room. So if we look this way, that door and that wall, that will go away. Um, at least that's what I'm projecting because I just need one big room uh, to do all of this. Still, that's open for debate. Um, that wall needs to stay. Like I have to do all of this construction uh, and then take that wall down because I need the environment uh, for raising the insects in that room, right? So still up for debate on whether or not that wall comes down. Uh, you can see the pink foam uh, boards. That's where the HVAC unit is. So that'll be a, a general utility room, um, have some storage in there. There will eventually be an interior door um, that replaces the panel on this side uh, so that I can access all of that easier. Okay. Um, but this wall here will go all the way to the ceiling. Uh, all that storage stuff up there comes out. That'll all be insulated. Uh, and this becomes the new end wall. Now within this end wall, what I'm going to do is put double doors. So instead of a single door, I'll have double doors here uh, somewhere uh, within uh, access or somewhere somewhere in the middle, like probably where the uh, relief line is there. Um, because what I'm thinking is I want to, what I can do now by putting all of this in place, getting this gravel in place, it has opened up my options to uh, unload with the tractor. So uh, instead of manually unloading that out of the truck, I'll have it loaded on a pallet uh, and then I'll grab the tractor, bring it over. And what I'm going to 
uh, plan on doing is that blue metal racking that is going to come out from that corner and it is going to be in this corner now right so that i can basically pull in with the tractor um and take loads of wheat bran and just drop them on the floor and then also drop one in the middle um the other thing that that will be helpful for is frass uh so one of the things that's going to change, uh, I am purchasing a chore time auger. And what will happen is, uh, well, let's go look at the current uh, sifter to get a visual on that. All right, so we're looking at the sifter. So right now, the frass just empties into this bucket. And then I have to remove the bucket, put a fresh bucket in every time it fills, right? Instead, uh, what I'm going to do is on the bottom of the next sifter model, there will be a chore time auger. Uh, there'll be a boot unit there and it will exit uh, and basically be able to auger up and i'm going to auger up into a storage container uh, that's elevated all right now we're back outside so that storage unit that's elevated or storage container that's elevated could be one of these um you know a, a tote up on a up on the metal racking that has a gate uh, on it that i can then fill the frass outside of the farm Right, so essentially I would come out and when I need to, um, fill into bags, fill into boxes, whatever it is that I'm packaging it into, um, out of the tote that that frass has been augered up into. Um, so I have, whoops, sorry, I have multiple of these, uh, of the metal racking, right? There's one back there, I'll need some of that for storage. Uh, so what I'm thinking is from a frass perspective, if I put that metal racking over here where the deep freezes are so there's the wall put the metal racking there and then have the totes potentially multiple totes uh, at least one for now and then processing like where the dehydrator is now which is going it's gone um needs to be packaged up and shipped out uh maybe i'm uh, doing all the the harvesting and sifting there and then it's going to auger up into a tote that's technically outside of the farm I don't need to keep that frass at any particular temperature and I'm going to be sifting it so finely that no eggs are going to go through. So that'll be good clean frass and then I have you know a gate valve on that uh, that will allow me to um, fill when I need to. Um, it's kind of what I'm thinking there. Uh, all right so let's talk about the office now. So with the wall moving and adjusting um, here that becomes the end of the new office so this room if we go in there da -da, does have a window in there uh, and what i'm thinking is this could potentially stay it's it's all the way tall right there's no drop ceiling or anything this could potentially stay and it turns into a processing room. My problem with that, or the thing I need to address is, I don't, I don't wanna have to open and close the door constantly, going in and out, moving trays, moving stacks of trays in and out. Um, and as I think through this, that messes up the uh, frass movement idea um, if the processing is over there. Uh, but let's just talk about the potential of a con of a sectioned off area to do the the processing. Okay, we'll think about the frass movement uh, as part of that. Um, so instead of a door, my thought was to have uh, those plastic flappy things, uh, whatever those things are technically called, that uh, allow me to go in and out. Uh, because remember, everything everything's going to be on wheels, right? Um, and so I need to be able to roll in easily, uh, do the work I need to do and roll it back out. And so the door is going to go, it'll need to be some sort of those clear, like vinyl, plastic, whatever they are, um, to help keep, uh, the dust. I'm not so much worried about the, the temperature or anything. Uh, it'll stay, um, it'll stay what it'll be, but the movement in and out and then the containment of the dust. Um, 
And as I work through the dust scenario, uh, I'm really liking the Grizzly setup. Uh, I think maybe putting it in some sort of a enclosed uh, tent-ish type area uh, is the next step um, instead of trying to encapsulate what I'm working on. Uh, but long-term plan, the sifter is going to be a different design. The trays are going to sit inside of each other. Uh, and I'll need the hood on top. Uh, so I definitely want to work through that. Uh, and then some sort of suction from the bottom-ish to pull that stuff that, that does end up getting out. Um, so I don't want to go, go too far into a tent or a containment room, but I'm just throw, throwing this out there so you guys can see the floor print of what I'm working with, uh, the current uh, structure. Those walls of the office right now, those can come out, right? Like there's some electrical in there. There's some work that I'll need to do to move those, but I'm fine with that. I can do that. Um, don't have any concerns there. Uh, and any electrical, I'll have to run some electrical in the walls, obviously the new ones. Um, that's all stuff that I can take care of. Uh, so that's kind of where things are at from the expansion perspective. Um, I think I covered everything that's physically here. Uh, so any questions or suggestions, let me know. Uh, and we'll start putting things to paper and see where it goes.